everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we're gonna to be doing a full face of Chantecaille. I'm gonna be putting together sort of a spring look with all of my favorites. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everyone, so I made a huge, a enormous error when I did my favorites and fails for February. I mean huge, like huge, huge, huge. And as I'm filming, I can't remember who pointed it out to me. I'll put it down below because I have it in my comments. Somebody asked me, well, what about the Chantecaille spring that came out? The beautiful butterfly and the lip cheeks. So I, re <laughs> I realized that I totally forgot about Chantecaille. And it's not because I don't love Chantecaille because I absolutely do love Chantecaille. And I honestly, the only excuse I have is I'm an idiot and I don't know. So anyway, to make it up to Chantecaille, not that, not that Chantecaille cares, but I care. Um, I am doing a full face of Chantecaille today and I'm going to do a spring look with the spring collection with the butterfly um, quad and the lip chic and some of my other favorites. And also I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So this should mark uh, either the exact day or a day later, I'm not quite sure, uh, of my one year anniversary here on YouTube. Which is just shocking, frankly, at this point. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it's been a year. But anyway, um, so this month I'm gonna be doing a number of giveaways. There's going to be a Chantecaille giveaway, a Tom Ford giveaway, a Chanel giveaway. You get the picture. There's gonna be a bunch of different giveaways. Some are gonna be here on YouTube, some are gonna be on Instagram. I'll, you know, put them and I'm going to give everybody some time to enter. So each one will have about a week. Um, and when I, at the end, I'll give you all the rules. So for this one, the, the giveaway is a set. Um, and I'll put the picture above. It's got the gold recovery mask and like a small, I forget exactly the amounts in there. It'll be on the description and in the picture of the oil, the Rose de Mai oil. So it's gonna be the Gold Recovery Mask and the Rose de Mai Oil Set. And I think it retails for 300 and some odd dollars, 360, I don't remember. Again, it will be in the description box, but that will be the giveaway. So at the end, I'll give you all the details, but I wanted to tell you up front because there's gonna be something that I mentioned in this video that you need to reference in order to enter the giveaway. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, eyebrows are done because I don't have a Chantecaille eyebrow product. We're going to use the Future Skin Cushion. This is in Aura. I've talked about this foundation a bunch of times and I really like this foundation. I think it's really beautiful. I do think the Aura is probably a little light for me, but I just, I don't know. I go back and forth about getting the alabaster I think it's the alabaster that's the step up um maybe i do that i i just haven't decided yet and the reason i haven't is because i have recently <laughs> spent quite a bit of money uh at a couple of retailers we're having sales and i did the sephora video i'll link that above if you guys haven't checked that out with uh just go firefly which was awesome i loved watching her uh, her picks uh, versus mine. Uh, it was pretty funny. So I was wondering if we were going to pick any of the same things since we have like the same taste and everything. So it's good. We didn't. It was, it was positive. Um, of course, that's probably because we already have all the things. But um, so yeah, I'm going to have a, a pretty big haul coming up. I don't know when that haul video will be because guys, um, shipping has been weird. Now I've been saying that since this channel started because I started, like I said, a year ago today or a year ago yesterday. And you know, that's when COVID happened. So um, shipping has been weird the entire year. And you know, that's fine. I mean, if that's the worst thing I have to endure, it's fine. But um, I don't, I just don't know when I'll get everything. It could be that I'll get, you know, everything in a week or it could be next month. So whenever I get them all, I'll do the haul. I do have like some of the things actually already that have arrived because I've done a bunch of different um, shopping trips, but 
not all of it. And if I'm gonna do a big haul, I might as well just do it all at once. So I'll, sh I'll have like little glimpses of things, but I'll do the big haul like overall all at once. So you can see, um, this foundation is, and I've mentioned it a couple of times, odd in a good way. And, and what I mean by that is, is it's not like anything else I've used. It's not really a powder. It's not really a cream. It's not really a liquid. Um, yes, it's a cushion, obviously, but it, it, it feels different when it goes on. It feels like nothing almost, but it gives really good coverage and it smooths everything out and it blurs everything. And my skin does look a lot better with it on. The, the two things I'd say, um, one, I think the shade is a little too light. So like I said, I might try alabaster, but these are relatively expensive cushions and they come with an extra cushion. So you have two cushions. Um, I'm basically done with the first cushion, which is this one. Um, I'm gonna have to put the second cushion in really soon. And then, and it's been two months, a little over two months. Yeah, well, almost three months. Yeah, almost three months. Um, and I'm almost done, because if you feel like you need more of the product, um, and if you buy another one, you can't get refills, you have to buy the, the whole compact again. So I don't know. Again, I, I'm going back and forth. I really like the way it looks. I think it's gonna be really good for summer, but I just am not sure. And in addition, like I said, I just purchased a whole bunch of things. Um, and I've been thinking about getting the Dior foundation. So let me know, that was basically my rambling way of, let me know what you'd like me to get um, would you rather see the Dior foundation? Would you rather see, you know, the, the Chantecaille and Alabaster? Is there something else you'd rather see? I feel like I have a lot of foundations to get through, to be honest with you. Um, the Sublimage foundation is now out for all of you who wanted to pick it up. I've had it for a while, four months. Uh, absolutely love it. I have it in BR12. I actually am gonna try BR22 just to see, because I tried B20. It's too yellow for me, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. But I never tried B22, because I just figured it would be too deep. But I don't know, I'm gonna try it. So if I really like that shade, I might pick up another thing of Sublimage. I am gonna be going in with, this is the blurring powder. Um, this is the one we all refer to as the Hummingbird powder, because it came out with the Hummingbird collection. La Mer brush, um, but it's gonna be part of, I think the permanent collection. It just won't be um, in this packaging. It'll be in the, well, actually, I don't know what kind of packaging it'll be in. So, but this is great, great powder, uh, very finely milled. All their powders are beautiful and it looks great on the skin. Doesn't irritate me. You know, I use a little bit, of, as you saw, I just used a really little bit amount. I don't use a lot of powder. Um, I just don't need a lot of powder, so. Okay, so we're gonna go with bronzer. I'm gonna use the Goa bronzer, which again is one of my favorites. This is what the Goa bronzer looks like. Um, it is a deep shade um, for me. For someone, I always pick on Aileen when I do this. For someone like Aileen uh, at A Merch Beauty, this is nothing, this is like, you know, her, her base product. But it, it is a deeper shade if you're pale. Um, so just something to keep in mind. If you're not looking for a, you know, uh, a deeper bronze, um, don't use this. It's gonna be too much for you. If you like more of a deep shade um, and you're pale, go for it. But it's deep, you can see. I, I buff it out. Um, after I put it on, but it's it's a very uh, beautiful shade, but it's definitely got a depth to it that, you know, if you're not somebody who likes a lot of bronzer, you're not gonna like it. If you're Eileen, you know. Um, so this is the Face One brush by Sonia G. What I do a lot, and sometimes I do this off camera, I realize you guys don't get to see that, so I'm gonna do it here on camera for you. Um, I will just take this brush and buff in the bronzer because sometimes, and you can see how it's like it's starting to lighten up because sometimes it just, you know, it stands out too much. Um, sometimes I can go in with a light enough hand with Goa and it's fine, but a lot of times I go back in and buff it out a little bit 
um, to achieve the look that I'm looking for. And then when I put on the highlighter and blush, it, it all sort of blends in because I blended it at the last with the, um, the powder all over again. So, okay, so let's go in, let's do highlighter. So I'm gonna use the Year of the Dog face highlighter. This was limited edition. It was, it was out last year for one of the sales they had. I don't know if they'll bring it back. Sometimes they do. I'll swatch this one on my hand for you. Um, it's a really pretty white-ish cool toned highlighter. Again, one of my favorites because I'm making up for the fact that I cannot believe I didn't mention Chantecaille and my favorites and fails. Like, uh, they are definitely favorites. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, Z series Chickahoto brush. Yeah, I, I obviously was sleep deprived. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but crazy craziness. And I'll mention when I do the um, quad and the uh, lip cheeks from the spring collection, I'll mention um, the one that's the, the lip cheeks that's my favorite, but I do really like all three of them this time. I'll be honest, like sometimes I get the lip cheeks and I get all three because I like them and I just, I love the formula, so I don't want to miss out any, but I don't love like all three shades or whatever. Um, this time I love all three shades. They're all beautiful. I'm going to take the Acabeco brush from Coyoto and I'm going to go in with the, this is the, you can't really see, this is a butterfly. There was like more of an outline before. This is the Bliss blush. I figured since we're using the butterfly collection, why not? This is a great blush. Very pretty, very light. Um, you, you know, I wouldn't say that these blushes are super pigmented, but um, some are definitely more pigmented than others. And I'm going in with this brush, which is very, very soft. Um, it does lay down uh, pigment, I think, very well. But if you want to deposit more pigment, you're probably going to want to use um, a little bit less uh you're, gonna, you're probably going to want to use something that's not as soft as this. But um, I really like this brush for depositing highlighter and blush. I just think for me, um, in the way that I like to have blush on my face or highlighter on my face, it works really, really well. At the end, I'll take the powder and go back in and buff this all in. But for the moment, we're good. All right, so I'm going to use the Butterfly Quad. And I'm gonna do a simple look because today is not, you know, swatches and it's just playing around with Chantecaille, showing you guys some of my favorites and apologizing to, my, to myself, basically, um, for not including this. What the hell, heck was wrong with me? I don't have a good excuse. Um, let's try Let's try my new Hourglass brush. I told you guys in, in an earlier video that I had picked up some vegan brushes and I'm trying them out. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. Yeah, I, you know, I, I wanna see what it does. The Ray Morris brushes, I'll have to tell you guys, I really like. They're really, really good. I also ordered the um, Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum collab, uh, her brush set. I was able to pick that up. I am very excited for her and I, I, I'm so excited for her launch and the fact that it sold out is just awesome. Um, and I'm very, very happy that I was able to pick up her set. So when I get that, I don't know what the um, delivery time is on that, to be honest with you, but when I get them, I will certainly give you all details. If you're not familiar with Katie Jane Hughes, she's a very talented makeup artist. Um, she is all over Instagram and she's, I think she's hilariously funny. And uh, the look she comes up with, I just think, you know, they're a little bit different, a little bit quirky sometimes. Uh, and I like that, you know, she, she does things, she tries things that um, not everybody tries. I just, 
I appreciate that about her. That was just like the one shade, the, the sort of brownish shade. And then I'm gonna take the, the golden duochrome shade. I'm gonna put that all over the eye and that's kind of be basically it. And then I'm gonna just buff out the top because I wanna keep this relatively simple. I just wanted to show you guys, again, um, how much I do like this collection. Um, Chikahoto F06, but you know, my brain was not working that day, obviously. And in a way, this is a, is a departure for Shantikai. Um, their duos that they have are certainly um, pigmented and have shimmer and shine. And their luminescent eye shades are very much um, pigmented, shiny, as I would say, shiny, shimmery shades. But this kind of like duochrome kind of shifting thing isn't really, it's not, when I think of Chantikai, it's not necessarily what I think of, but they did a beautiful job with it. it it's a gorgeous um, color story. I, I mean, I, I really like it. It's not um, super pigmented, but I, I think it's beautiful. I, I really do like it. I think they did a great job. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Chikahoto Z series to buff out the top a little bit. This is their like blending brush. I usually use the Wayne Goss, but you can use this one as well. And when I'm doing this, I'm kind of pulling, you, you can slightly see it, I'll bring you in, the shimmer from that uh, duochrome shade up into the brow. But I'm doing it very lightly because I just want to pull a little bit of it. Okay, now let's take the Refer 03 brush and we're gonna take that same shade that I used in the transition and just run it lower lash line, okay? And then I'm gonna take one of my favorite liners of all time, um, Olive Brocade, Brocade. And I don't mean like favorite from Shantika, I mean of any liner anywhere. This is one of my favorite liners of all time. And I'm gonna use this just on the upper lash line. Or maybe I'll use it on the upper lash line and a little bit underneath. Okay, so before I um, bring you in close, I'm gonna use a little of the Chantecaille. This is the um, Le, Cam Le Camouflage Stylo Pen. Now, a lot of times I use this before, but right now I'm gonna use a little bit after because I found that when I use it after, it gives me like a nice glow um, that I kind of like over the foundation um, eye look because I feel like I tend to cover it a little bit too much um, with my powder, um, eyeshadow, whatever, and I can actually brighten up the eye a little bit more if I put it on last. Again, it's a preference thing, but I, I've started doing that. So, okay, so let me bring you in close and then curl lashes, we'll put on the Chantecaille mascara, of course, and then we'll move to lips. Okay, so here is the finished eye look, again, without mascara. That's just two shades, guys. Two shades and olive brocade. I mean, look at that, it's stunning. Definitely a favorite. Again, I was an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how I left it out. Okay, let me curl my lashes, put on the, the Faux Seals mascara, and we'll come right back. And we're back. I just put on some Chantecaille. This is the um, Longest Lash Faux Seals mascara. I've mentioned this many, 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 many times. Uh, absolutely a favorite um, and just love it. So we're gonna do lips last, and I'm gonna take the Chantecaille lip liner in tone. Good pinky beige, a good neutral for my skin tone. Love that shade, it's, it's a great liner, seriously, love it. Uh, and then we're gonna finish it off with High Sop, which is the one that comes in the like lavender, bluish lavender, hydrangea blue is how it looks to me. I use this actually in my spring look that I did to look like I was doing a spring look uh, collab and it was supposed to be like based on hydrangeas 
uh, and the packaging I think is just perfect. But let's finish it off with this. Okay, so finished look. I love the lip cheeks. I love this particular one, the high stop. I'm thinking I might pick up another because they're usually limited and this color is like my favorite. And I love the scent. Oh, just gorgeous. Uh, I think this is a beautiful spring look. I've got my butterflies going on. Um, I just, I really do love the spring collection and the quad I think is gorgeous. Uh, I, again, I only used two shades today, but I just, I really do enjoy it. It is a favorite. <laughs> again, so sorry I left it out. Um, so to enter the giveaway, the, the gift you're gonna get is the gold recovery mask with the Rose to My Oil set. Uh, I can send it to the US and Canada. I am gonna work on an international giveaway as well, but for now, those are the two. So uh, again, you have to be in the US or Canada. Um, you have to be subscribed to my channel. So <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love for you to be subscribed to me over on Instagram. Um, I, I do a lot of great content over there and I'm trying to add things to that. I will be doing some giveaways on Instagram only. So if you're not subscribed to me over there, you won't see those. Um, in the comments below on this video, you need to put you, a way for me to contact you. So email or Instagram handle. And once I contact you in the way that you've asked me to, you have 24 hours to respond. If I don't hear from you in 24 hours, I will move on to the next person. It's a random generator picker. So literally it just, it's a, basically it's an app and you put in, you know, they scan all the comments and then they pick someone. So it's completely random. Um, the only other thing you have to mention in the video is mention what it was I talked about that I had to do sometimes that I usually did off camera because I am so pale. It's really easy <laughs> because I mentioned it like right in the middle of the video. Um, but how you want to phrase it doesn't really matter. Just mention the step that I often do off camera um, with a particular product of Shantika's because I am so um, and if you were watching the video, then you know exactly what to put down below. So um, that's it. Um, today is, I, I think I'm gonna have this go up either the, the second or the third. I'm not sure which day um, because of my schedule, but I will make sure you have, let me look at the calendar. Okay, you'll have until the 8th, Monday the 8th to enter, okay? So that gives everybody, not quite a week, but close to it. So you have until Monday the 8th to enter. Make sure you comment on this video with how to contact you, email or Instagram. You have to be in the US or Canada and you have to mention the step I take with a particular product from Shantikai that I usually do off camera because I am so pale. I think that's it. So this is the first, like I said, um, giveaway for this month. There's going to be a bunch to follow. So if you don't win this one, don't worry. There's going to be other opportunities and other giveaways. Uh, I want to thank you all for getting me to a one year anniversary on YouTube. If it wasn't for the fact that you were all watching and sharing and commenting, I, I don't, I don't know if I would have, <laughs> I don't know if I'd still be here a year later. I, I started this as, as a way to do something creative and fun and my love of makeup and beauty and fashion. Um, and I'm really enjoying it and I'm, really enjoying it because of all of you. So I just wanted to give back and say thank you and um, look forward to more content to come. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.